A few weeks ago when we said we were going to concentrate on rice for a week, we asked you what rice dishes we should do and an overwhelming number of you said biryani. So with all of the tips, tricks and advice that you gave us, we've kind of put them all together into an ultimate cheats version. So this is slightly cheaper and a lot easier than perhaps the tra 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 traditional method. I did a barry. However, it's delicious. <laughs> Needless to say, it starts with rice. So we're going for basmati, which is a long grain, super fragrance, the queen of rice. And you guys said it's better if you soak it. And one message we got, which came in an email because it was so long, it didn't even fit in a tweet, said that if you parboil it, then it's a bit of a cheap, you've got a lot more control, and it's amazing. Okay. So first of all, we need to wash it. The reason you wash rice is so that it's not so sticky and you end up with a fluffier end product. Drain that off. Let's go again. hundred and one ways to cook rice for this version plenty of salted water and the basmati is going to go in for about six minutes that means it's only going to be about two-thirds cooked by the time we take it out it will still have a proper bite to it but it's partially cooked parboiled okay so we can focus on the meat now we are going for chicken thigh full of flavor on the bone mm -hmm. and quite affordable when I was in India, oh, I, had I've been to India. I had an amazing <laughs> buffalo biryani. That was incredible. Some of you guys said it's great with prawn. Mm -hmm. So many different options. We are going for chicken. And we're going to cook it skin side down in a pan in foaming butter. Not ghee. Not ghee. So if you can get hold of ghee, use ghee. It's like a fermented clarified butter. But our cheap version uses regular salted butter. Whilst our chicken is cooking off, that gives us about 10 minutes to peel and slice two red onions, some ginger and some garlic. Now you can see the chicken nowhere near cooked. However, what it has got is a nice golden colour on the skin. We can flip it over to carry on cooking for more time on the other side. And the same time we can add our onion, ginger and garlic into the pan to soften around the chicken. Onions have softened down now for some spice and other flavours. We're going to go into the pan with tomato puree, sultanas gives it a nice fruitiness, spice. Now let's talk about spice. It's got to be balanced for a biryani. That's what you guys said. And we're going to cheat because this is a cheats biryani. We're going to use garam masala because that way it has a perfect blend that somebody else has already balanced. So it's spiced, not spicy. We are going to add a little bit of chilli, but not too much, yep. because it's more about being spiced. And you guys also said saffron to give it colour. We're going to cheat there as well and give it turmeric. Not going to give it the same flavour, but it is going to give it that nice yellow tinge. Oh, I love a tinge. When you said not much chilli, you really meant not much chilli. All right, you? I need to buy some more. Also, where did you buy these jars from? I've never seen these jars that have got labels. Oh, hang on a second, I can peel this one off. Do not peel that off. I'm going to take the chicken thighs out just so we can work with the rest of the pan and we can add the spinach in plus all the rice to kind of marble through those spices. Don't mix it completely because you kind of want little pockets of spice and not spice and, and mixture. Is that making sense? Um, a little bit of it did. Try a bit of that. Not quite cooked. Not quite there, but so nearly. I always get nervous when I start frying rice. So I'm so worried about it sticking to the bottom of the pan. Two, two options. Yeah. One, the pan has got to be so hot that it doesn't have time to stick. Okay. And you keep it moving like a stir fry. The other way, which you guys said, you can actually put like another frying pan or a tray, something like that, on your hob. That'll get hot. That sits on top and it acts as kind of a, it subtles out the heat. Chicken goes back on top, then our veg stock gets dribbled over and then we're going to dot it with butter and we finish ours in the oven. 15 minutes, 180 degrees Celsius. And that oh, hello. is what you're looking for. It dries out a little bit to get some crispy bits as well, soft and succulent underneath. To finish it, all we're going to do is dollop on some yoghurt. That stops Ben from sweating with that spice that we put in. We nearly ran out of it, so it's not too much. <laughs> a scattering of fresh red onion, finely sliced. 
toasted almonds and a squeeze of lemon juice. Be careful, the handle is super, super hot, but take it to the table just as it is, and there is our biryani with a few hacks. Sorted. Sorted. Looking forward to this one. Yep. With a bit of luck, do you look at that? Steaming, gorgeous, succulent rice underneath. <laughs> That's a bit special. That's steaming, succulent, and flavoursome. Mm. And that chicken skin, it's got all the flavour from the spice. Don't take this the wrong way, Ben. I'm going to step away from that because otherwise I will eat the entire mm. contents of that pan. It's great. Mm. And easy. That is the, the hacker's biryani. Uh, and if you want all the details for that, and I know that you do, then it's all downstairs. Go check it out on sortedfood.com. Join us on Friday where we take rice to dessert in a jammy rice pudding. Homemade jam as well. And, boys, Sunday, head to head to head in a burrito battle. Oh, I've got this I've got, down. No, I've got this down. I've I have got, got this down. I'm taking you down. No. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.